Hello students, let's do percent exercise 11C. So we are continuing from question 9. 70% of our body weight is made up of water. Find the weight of water in the body of a person whose body weight is 56 kg. Okay, percentage of water in our body is 70%. Okay, weight of a person given to us is 56 kg. Kg. Now, what are we asked to find out? Weight of water in this person. So, let's start with 70 by 100 and then we multiply this with the weight of the person, 56 kg. So, let's cancel what we can. Okay, we'll cancel this. I can cancel 10 and 56 both by 2. 2 fives are 10. Now, what about 56? Let's divide 56 by 2. 2 twos are 4 minus 1. I bring down 6, 16. 2 eights are 16 minus. So I've got 28. So 2 into 28 will give us 56. So in the numerator, now we have 7 into 28. And in the denominator, we have 5. There's nothing else we can cancel. So I'm going to carry on with my multiplication of 28 into 7. So 28 into 7. 7 eighths are 56, carry 5. 7 twos are 14 plus 5, 19. So in the numerator, we have 196 and in the denominator, we have 5. Now let's divide 196 by 5. 196 divided by 5. 19, 5 threes are 15 and then I've got 4 and 6, 46, 5 nines are 45 minus I have 1. Now if I have to carry on with my division, I need to put a decimal point here and carry it up and then put a 0 which I can bring down. Now my number is 10. So 5 twos are 10. Now let's minus. Okay, so we've got our answer here. Weight of water in this person is 39.2 kgs. The weight of the person is 56 kg and the weight of water in this person is 39.2 kgs. Question 10. Only one fifth of the available water is in liquid form. This limited amount of water is replenished. That means Again, it's given to the earth, okay, and used by man recurrently. Continuously, it's being used by man. Express this information as percent. They want us to express whatever information is given here as percent, showing, first one, the water that is available in the liquid form. Okay, so let's start. Water available in the liquid form is given to us here as one-fifth. So that is one-fifth. Now, we are asked to find the percent of water available in the liquid form. So, we take this water available in the liquid form and we multiply it by 100 to find the percent. Now, let's cancel. 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10 and 0. 5 into 20 is 100. Now, let's multiply. 1 into 20 is 20. Remain uh, the denominator is 1. 20 by 1 is 20. So we have found the water available in the liquid form in the form of a percent, 20%. So let's write it here. Water available in liquid form is 20%. Second question, we need to find the water available in the frozen form. So the remaining water is in the frozen form. Okay, so let's assume that the total quantity of water is 1. Okay, we will assume that the total quantity of water is 1. So, the water available in the frozen form will be 1, which is the total quantity of water, minus the water that is available in the liquid form. Okay, I hope you understood that. If we take the water that is available, the total quantity that is 1, and minus the quantity of water which is available in the liquid form, then we get the water in the frozen form. So, let's do this subtraction. 1 minus 1 by 5. Now, this is 
a fraction, subtraction of fraction. So let's give this the denominator 1. Now the LCM will be 5. One, is, one fraction has the denominator 1, the other one has 5. So the LCM is taken as 5. Now 1, 5s are 5. So this also to be multiplied by 5. 5 minus 5 ones are 5. So 1 ones are 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4 by 5. So the water that is available in the frozen form is 4 by 5. Now we need to find the percent, percent of water available in the frozen form, which is 4 by 5 into 100. Let's cancel. 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, 0, 5 into 20 is 100. Now let's multiply 4 into 20. 4 into 20 is 80. Denominator is 1 and 80 by 1 is 80. So the percent of water available in the frozen form is 80%. Let's write it here. 80%. Question 11. By weight, 90% of tomato and 78% of potato is water. We need to find the weight of water in 25 kg of tomato. So we'll start by saying percent of water in tomato. So in tomatoes, the percent of water is 90%. So what will the weight of water in 25 kg of tomato be? Now we take 90 since it's person divided by 100 into 25. So let's cancel 10 zero there, 10 zero here. And then I can cancel 10 and 25 by 5. 5 twos are 10, 5 fives are 25. Now let's multiply. We can't cancel anything else, so let's multiply. 9 fives are 45. My denominator is 2. So let's divide 45 by 2. 45 by 2. 2 twos are 4 minus, I bring down 5 again, 2 twos are 4 minus 1. Now I'm going to carry on with my division. So I'll write point here, carry the point up. I can add zeros here and continue my division. I bring that zero down. 2 fives are 10 minus Okay, so the weight of water in 25 kg of tomato is 22.5 kg, right? The second part of the question is this. We need to find the total quantity by weight of water in 90 kg of potato and 30 kg of tomato. So what is the percent of water in potato? It is 78% as given in the question, 78%. Now, what is the weight of water in 90 kg of potato? So we have to do 78 by 100 into 90. So let's cancel. 10 zero then, 10 zero here. And I can cancel 78 and 10 both by 2. 2 fives we know is 10. Now what about 78? 2 into what will give us 78? So let's divide and see. 2 threes are 6 minus, I bring down 8, it's 18. 2 nines are 18. So that means 2 into 39 will give us 78. So this is 39. Now I need to multiply 39 into 5. So let's multiply. 39 into 9. Let's multiply 39 into 9. 9 nines are 81, carry 8. 9 threes are 27 plus 8 is 35. So my numerator is 351 and my denominator is 5. Now I need to divide these two. 351 divided by 5. I have 35 there, so 5 sevens are 35 minus 0. I bring down 1. 1 is smaller than 5, so I put a 0. Now, if I need to continue my division, I need to put a point, carry it up, add a 0, and bring that 0 down. Now, my number is 10. 5 twos are 10. Okay, 
So my answer is the weight of water in 90 kg of potato is 70.2 kg. 70.2 kg. Now, what is the percent of water in tomato? The percent of water in tomato is 90%. Then, what is the weight of water in 30 kg of tomato? So, that will be 90 by 100 into 30. 90 by 100 into 30. So, cancel 10 here on top in 90 and 10 here. I can cancel one more zero there. So now I have 9 into 3 which is 27 by 1 and that is 27 kg. So the weight of water in 30 kg of tomato is 27 kg. Now we are asked to find the total quantity by weight of water in 90 kg of potato and 30 kg of tomato. So we just did that. Now how do we find this? We have to take the weight of water in 90 kg of potato, which we just found 70.2 kg. So let's write that down. That's 70.2 kg. Now to this, we need to add the weight of water in 30 kg of tomato. Now how much is that? 27 kg. We need to add up these two. So let's add 70.2 and 27 kg. So let's make them like decimals first, 0. 0.0. Now we can do the addition. 2 point zero plus 7 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. So we've got 97.2 kg. So the total quantity by weight of water in 90 kg of potato and 30 kg of tomato together will be 97.2 kg. Lesson 12. Find the number that is 50% more than 48. So first let's write down the original number which is 48. And what is the increase? Increase here is 50% of 48, isn't it? So let's calculate that. That will be 50 by 100 into 48. So let's cancel. I'll cancel a 0 there and a 0 here. Now, 2 5s are 10. I can cancel 48 also by 2. 2 2s are 4. 2 4s are 8. Now, I can cancel 5 and 5. So, here my number is just 24 by 1 or just 24. So, I have found 24 is 50% more than 48. So what is the final number? The final number will be 48, this is the original number, plus the increase in number, which is 24. So let's add 48 plus 24. 8 plus 4 is 12, carry 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, 6, 7, 72. So the number that is 50% more than 48 is 72. Okay, now let's go on to the next part. 30% less than 70, just like the first one. First, let's write our original number. The original number given to us is 70, isn't it? Now the decrease, this time it's less. So what is the decrease? The decrease is 30% of 70. That will be 30 by 100 into 70. So let's cancel. I cancel one there and one zero here, one more there and one more here. So now I have three into seven. Three sevens are 21 by one, which is 21. Now, how do we find the final number? The final number will be the original number, which is 70. And this time, since it says less than, we need to minus it. 70 minus 21. So let's do that. 70 minus 21. This is 6. 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. 6 minus 2 is 4. So the final number 
that is 30% less than 70 is 49. This is the answer. Let's write the answer here on top also. So that is 49.